Hey guys, Megan Lynn here, Spiritual Empress. What's up? Happy Friday. Uh, I know I always say this, but I feel like Aquarius has been laying groundwork down for like years now. Real groundwork. And you've been falling on your face a lot. But let me tell you, that karma is coming back and I'm feeling it like tenfold right now. Um, I feel like a lot of Aquariuses are never really sure like where their place is because we try hard and, and I feel like Aquarius doesn't feel like they fit in a lot or no matter how good they are at something, something happens to push them out. Um, but with this karma that's coming back, and it was funny because my friend, he's an Aquarius too, and I just call him Mr. Miyagi because he's real quiet and real mellow and just like this great husband. And like, he just comes over and spouts words of wisdom every once in a while. And today he just came over and he sat by me and he goes, Megan, I don't know why, but I feel like there's just a lot of fortune and a lot of money and a lot of like retribution that's coming to you and you're gonna get it sooner than you think and I had my other friend Scorpio say the same thing to me yesterday because he was kind of reading me and he said he goes I feel like you're gonna be doing what you want to do a lot sooner than you think so you know I just keep grinding keep hustling but yes 100% with every aspect in my life I've like freaking leveled up so I work for this company that contracts out for, and I won't say the name, but it's the biggest search engine in the world, y'all, okay? And that's my goal is to get in with this company. We'll call it Goggle, right? But we work alongside them. So I had this like idea for a pilot for the company to work on these like non-priority accounts and get them like pushed through super fast, but take all of that on in a separate department. And so, Anyway, it was weird. I had mentioned it to my managers, but like I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. Or anybody was going to take it take me seriously, really. But I know what the hell I'm talking about like 9 out of 10 times. Like this is what you guys need to be doing. And so my manager ends up pulling me aside and one other person and says, "Hey, we're going to do this pilot." I was like, no freaking way. I got so excited because I know, you guys, the first, if you've ever done a pilot or you've ever been in sales, which I've done this with multiple companies, the first month that you are on the floor doing this is the biggest opportunity for commission because they don't have metrics yet. So they set a goal for you. And if you surpass that goal, you can make so much commission. Like, it's insane. It's really insane how much money you can make if you hit the ground running, if you blow that number out of the water. You can also get a lot of attention and accolades from just hitting the ground running like this. So, homegirl over here, who's in my department, it's just me and her doing this pilot, does not understand, like, the freaking opportunity, which is fan freaking tastic for me because I'm blowing her freaking numbers out of the water. I am operating like a psychopath. I am talking incessantly. I'm 24 seven on the phone. We added three more people to the department, but they're not like part of it. And I know everybody in every department. And so I went to a different department to get like secret numbers. Like we're not allowed to see. And he goes, what the hell is going on? Cause I see your numbers. He goes, there was 172 inbound calls for like four of us, let's say. There's 172. I answered 94 of them. Just me. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm getting into my gate. So, the opportunity for this to, like, blow up is, like, insane. And so, I ended up talking to my manager because I've been, like, working really closely with, like, metrics and being a crazy person and probably driving them nuts. But one of my managers, that's the one who took me seriously to start the pilot. Um, I went in to talk to him today and he goes, Megan, you have no idea. I, I spoke with Google today. And we showed them the pilot and we showed them your numbers and I'm more than doubling the output of this other person and nobody can like keep up with me or figure out how I'm doing it because I'm pushing so many freaking accounts through and he's like so he's like you got like a big shout out with goggle today and I'm so excited because that's my goal is to just get certified and to work for them right so I'm like great works looking good like money situations like you know starting to starting to improve and stuff like that but literally I've noticed karma coming back too with people this just happened to me too and it's just like a quick story but I'm letting you guys know like Aquarius you guys it's freaking coming I promise and I know I've said this before but it is like I feel it and other people have been telling me it too 
but it's been really different because I, I have a type of energy, I don't know what it is, that like people will target me. It's really weird. Like there's something in my energy that brings up the demons in people. Like and people will just randomly snap at me for no reason. And shit like that happened at work this week to this freaking Gemini chick. I freaking hate her. She's like, for lack of a better word, trash. Like, <laughs> she doesn't work. She like, she doesn't work. She is super rude. She's super vulgar and crass and like pretty much everything I don't like in a person. She's super disrespectful. Anyway, she decided at work she was going to pop off at me, right? She decided she's going to pop off. Now, normally Aquarius doesn't like to make waves, but I've learned that any second anything like this happens to me, people need to learn their lesson. So I went straight to like the head of my department and I was like, look, I don't get mad easily. Like this is not normal for me. I said, I'm pretty livid right now. This person spoke this disrespectfully to me and it was really over what I thought we were all having this like we have these conversations where we're all sarcastic and we BS with each other and I have Leo next to me so he's always got my back but he saw it too and he's like what the hell just happened but I was like you know she is super disrespectful she's like this with everybody she thinks she can say whatever she wants to people and then I started using buzzwords I was like I'm not gonna work in a hostile work environment blah 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 well little miss homegirl they basically like pulled everybody from the team that was around when it happened and when I came out because I went to talk to them first obviously because I wasn't going to be I had a feeling something would happen if I didn't go because she wasn't going to get them involved but I knew if I got them involved it would put attention on her and I've been wanting to get rid of her for a long time and so they pulled everybody from the floor but as I came to sit back down they were all she was talking to everybody telling them what to say to the head to her director and so after it, you know, they came, they came back and they were like, look, you know, it didn't take long investigating to figure out like you cussed at her first and, you know, we got everybody's story and whatever. I did not cuss at her. I don't cuss, especially when it's going into a bad place. Like I'm super professional. So the fact that she got everybody to lie, I'm just like, you know what? freaking forget it, whatever, at least now. And that's what people don't understand about Aquarius is like, we'll take a hit. We will take a hit to prove a point. We do not care. Like, Aquarius is the scrappers of the Zodiac, okay? We're a lot like Scorpio. Like, we don't care if we see the end game. I'm like, now attention's on her. Now she has to watch what she says. Now she won't even talk to me at work, which is fantastic. And I was like, even though I'm, like, on radar now for whatever, and I didn't even bother correcting them saying that, like, I know she lied to the whole team because it's just going to look bad on me. Well... My director really likes my roommate. Now, my roommate is very prestigious, like, at, at the office, and not a lot of people know that we're rooming together. Well, probably, like, half the office knows. The director did not know. She goes and she starts chatting up with my roommate, and my roommate ends up sprinkling in. And this is where the karma came back, and, like, I didn't even have to try. I just went, you know, I've been in these situations before. My roommate went and told the director, like, what happened, and stuff and she goes oh you know but she's very sly and like very professional about it and she goes you know just so you know there's this this that about that girl and she had the whole team lie to you and say this story and just so you know she makes you look bad like you should hear her on calls you should this that or the other and so now my director is secretly like auditing her calls and so Gemini comes in the next day, all bubbly, all this, that, or the other. You can tell she's changed her demeanor, but she's, like, happy because she got away with something, right? And so she's all bubbly, and she, you could tell she's, like, watching what she says around me, though, which is fine. Like, I don't want to talk to her, and I'm glad she's, like, shutting the hell up because she's way too loud for her own good. good. She's going to get her ass beat, like, straight up. But she has no freaking idea. She has no idea the stuff that's going on behind the scenes right now, and I was just like... That's it. That's my sign. That's my karmic sign. Like, because I've been in situations where I've gotten, like, bitten before. And, you know, it's it's definitely not that way now. So I just wanted to give a little hope to Aquarius. Like, stuff's shifting. And I've had so many people just come up to me and say, like, 
money. So it's coming. I feel like we've been laying the groundwork, but it's given us a lot of experience with the falling on our face and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go in. I have friends coming over tonight, and we're all cooking, and then we're doing a garage sale tomorrow. So uh, ain't no rest for the wicked, <laughs> but I love you guys. Thanks for likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Let me know what you want to hear about, and we will talk soon. Bye.